we got a new firmware update on the Sony ZV-E1. We're going from version one to version 1.01. I'm on Sony's website right now. This says that it improves stability of the steady shot function, which we'll do a little bit of testing out, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now, the ZV-E1, you actually run the firmware update direct from the memory card, just like you do the 120 frames per second license. If you haven't done that, you can get that also from this website. But this also says the memory card version can be downloaded using the creator's app if you have an Android phone or iPhone. Anyways, you need a battery that has at least 51% on it. If you try to run it with a battery that doesn't have 51% on it, it won't work. And besides that, you don't want it to die mid-update anyways now I already downloaded the update file I'm gonna go ahead and copy it to the memory card the update file needs to say bodydata.dat do not freaking change the file name because if you change the file name the camera will not be able to find it now this part is important do not put the update file in any freaking folder drop it on the root of the storage card if you don't know what the root means I'm gonna make this window bigger and I'm gonna show you what root means paste BAM right there you don't want it inside of any type of folder or anything like that and as you saw the update was about a gigabyte so we're gonna go ahead and eject this matter of fact just give me my storage card i ain't got time to worry about this whole you need to eject this my freaking card anyways we'll put the memory card into the zve one you want to hit menu we're going to go to setup you go down to number 13 and then we're gonna go to version. Once you go to version, it's gonna show you that your body is running version 1.00. And there's a button right here that says software update. We're gonna press that button right now. This tells you, hey, do what we tell you to do when it comes to the firmware update as to not break your camera. You gotta scroll down. Then you wanna hit execute. Now this says here that the access lamp will flash one time, three times, or five times. Depending on the progress of the update, this update will take approximately six minutes to complete. While we are waiting, this is a good time Time to join me on various social networks. I'm even on threads now, which is crazy, even though threads is dead. But anyways, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter are down there, and I'll put threads on the screen too. And if you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe, all that good jazz. All right, back to the update. And body update complete. So we'll press OK. We'll go back into the menu, go to version. Now it shows version 1.01. Let's go test it real quick. Okay, now we back in here. Did the stabilization look any different to you? I will leave that up to y'all. Leave it in the comments. I hope that this video was helpful, showing you how to update your ZVE1. Although it's a pretty simple process. And until next time, I'm out of here. Tight shirt, Terry Warfield. Piece of chicken grease. Much love, y'all. I'm out. Peace.